halfway inside the Leamington half on the far side. Megaphone, that's the word, Jack. Megaphone. <laughs> that took some guessing. He the ball in his hands into Anderson, lays it back to McLean. Abbott's not too far. He fights like this. Good across the middle. Oh, and it just hits the goalkeeper. Ball towards Ramshaw, headed over the bar by his own defender. It was a wicked ball in from Scott McLean. I was expecting a back pass to Abbott, but he fizzed a ball in, which was just ever Taylor. It just ended up hitting Ramshaw in front of the goalkeeper. Measley in the possession of Weaver, and he will play it along. It's not with his daily this time, but it'll end up falling as a Leamington man. He'll try a shot and it's not too far wide. That was Kelsey Mooney who managed to turn and had a lot of space after Curtis and I think it was Edwards. I think we haven't seen Lafudu get past the halfway line. But that's the only way you think about it. That is because he's playing fullback and not wing back. And so maybe he's under orders not to. Here come Leamington onto the far side to Kelly Evans. As Leamington stride forward, here comes Kelly Evans, cuts around McLean, it falls to the number nine, he tries a shot with even claim, diving to his right hand side, it was Mooney with that first time side footed effort as it rebounds in his path after Kelly Evans was tackled by McLean, but his first hand effort is matched by Daly's dive to his right hand side. There are about eight players all going together, now they all spread out, decent ball in actually, and it's, oh Tate had a glorious chance and he puts it over the bar, he doesn't connect properly. Off a neck injury. <laughs> but I think he's going to try and do exactly that. Long ball four then, which is from Eve on to, towards Ramshaw and Taylor, who challenge for the same ball. In fact, Taylor lands on Ramshaw's boot and ends up taking Ramshaw's boot off. And it's inside right channel for Levington. Here it comes. It's a fantastic opportunity. Shot towards goal. It's off the line. Surely this time it's in. On the follow up, it's Dan Turner who puts it in. On the line was Joe Tate. He did ever so well to block the first one, but he couldn't block the second one. Leamington has the lead. It's one of them games where it just takes it just takes a moment. And that's what happened. Spending more were turned after Taylor and Roundshaw went for the same ball. Mooney inside right, managed to pull a ball back, and then the Spending more defenders were kind of nowhere to be seen, really. Shot towards goal initially, I think, by Edwards. Really well defended on the line by Joe Tate initially, but it rebounds just a couple of yards away from Dan Turner, who's unmarked and had pretty much had an empty net to, to aim for. 10 minutes played inside the second half. Leamington lead by a goal to nil. It's not a start of second half Spenny would have wanted. But might that just kick them into life a little bit? They were behind last week, of course, against Southport. They were pegged back late on the week before against Boston. They managed to win both of them games. So this game is far from over yet. Dan Turner's actually got two in two for Leamington. His first game was last January and then he played once, scored once and then the season was called off. It's two in two for him now. And Leamington will come again on this near side with Mooney once more in the right channel for Leamington. Cuts back onto his left foot, running inside a take. Cross comes in, it's deep towards the back post. Headed towards goal and it's two. And it's two in as many minutes. And it's the, and it's the captain, it's Jack Edwards this time who gets his head on it. It's all oh, a carbon copy of the first goal and it. Moon is fed down his right hand side, can cut back onto his left foot, get across into the middle. And this time it falls onto the header, Jack Edwards, who just cushions a header into Daly's bottom right corner. It's two goals in two minutes. And suddenly it is an absolute mountain to fight for Spennymore. Moody should get there first, and he does just about. And he very composedly passes it to Curtis, and they pass the, pass the ball out in danger to Abbott and then on to Ramshaw. Ramshaw has to come square to Chandler. He looks ahead. I want too much of movement ahead of him. Now Abbott will try on the top of Thompson, who's in the middle now. And that's a night ball. Night ball onto Ramshaw. Inside a penalty area. Cuts onto his left foot. Getting it down. It's got to be a penalty. It's got to be. It is a penalty. Absolute certainty that was a penalty kick. Ramshaw did ever so well to cut inside of his man, which was Jack Lane. To make it 2 1, to make it game on. Can Taylor score from the spot? Referee blows his whistle. Taylor right footed. Here it comes. It's saved. It's rebounded towards Abbott. And Abbott, I think, won't keep it in play. He won't. It's a goal kick. The glorious chance is wasted. The keeper saves. It was not a fantastic penalty. Keeper to his right hand side. Didn't have to dive far to get it. And half, 11 and a half to go, sorry. Abbott is eased off it it's a bit heavily. But it falls spending more way to Chandler. Wide left is McLean. Here comes Scott McLean. Running at Kelly Evans. Onto his left foot on the outside. Decent looking ball. Edwards go. What a save. 
unbelievable save from Weaver. Ramshaw beat him out of the near post. The, the pace was on the cross. He glanced it towards goal. And Weaver with a fantastic save. And again, we're putting it into that category of it's one of them days. It's frustrating that it's, it's taken us to fall 2 0 down to start putting chances together. Great flip by Ramshaw. In the corner towards Chase. It's just going to miss him. Chandler will gather back to McLean has time to take a touch onto his right foot cross comes in it's deep towards Taylor at the back post he's been held but it's headed away as far as Anderson might have to go first time not a bad first time ball towards Curtis he loses that now falls to Chandler he just lays it back to Curtis edge of the D will he try a shot no we'll find pick out a pass in Joe Tate now Chandler has it Chandler to Ramshaw edge of the penalty spot back to Chandler first time shot it's saved and it's going to be pushed behind the say didn't quite rebound to Taylor as it could so easily have done. And it just bounced the bounce of the ball. Like it made it spin behind for the corner. Just way the Hearn. Back to Tate, exactly on the halfway line. He looks forward, the ball looking to Rapper. Headed clear this time in his fight, Moore Hearn. Gathers it in his stride, still going onto the right, onto the outside of his man, towards the byline. Digs a cross out towards Ramshaw. He's in. Spenny will have one. It is game on now. Ramshaw was free on edge of the six yard box. And he heads it into the very top corner. Spennymore's got one back. There's seven and a half to go. Levington two, Spennymore one. The food is in here. Early cross. It's fizzed across. It should be retrieved by McLean. It is. Touch around his man. That's really good from Scott McLean. He thought about going down. He poked it back towards Frank Mulhern. Oh, what a block. It falls to Abbott. Edge of the D. Back to Anderson. Back to Abbott again. Anderson gets it back. Anderson ran outside of his man. Shot comes in. Oh, and it's wide. It's sliced behind by the defender into the side netting. Some of the Spennymore fans thought it was in. I thought it was for a split second. He lays it back to Curtis. He's got to go. He has to go forward now for Spennymore. James Curtis does exactly that. He launches up towards Taylor, who chests it into Pastor Chandler. Outside of him is Lafudu. Is there another chance in this game for Spennymore to get a leveller? Here comes Lafudu running around the outside of Kelly Evans towards the byline. Lafudu cross comes in towards oh towards the middle. It's headed clear only as far as Scott McLean on his left foot. Cross comes in. That's going to be the keeper's ball. Sure, it's headed out of the keeper's hands. Out for a corner. There will not be time for it. That's a full-time whistle. And Spennymore gave it everything. But unfortunately, they were already 2-0 down by then. They saw a second half penalty saved. They did manage to get a goal back. And they threw everything at it in that second half. It's going to be a long journey home. It's going to be a pointless journey home. There are positives to take from it, but that one, in many ways, it wouldn't hurt as much to have lost it 2-0. In fact, we gave it everything.